it's your boy Spray Paint back after another video, man. Y'all know what it is when y'all step in the building. We back in these YouTube streets with another hot segment, man. So we got two segments we gotta talk about. First, we gotta talk about BG dropping the bombshell on Turk in his new song. He, he addressing everything that we've been saying. Plus, we gotta talk about Boosie warning Terrence Gangster William that he's really like that. You feel me? But y'all know the assignment. You know what to do. Smash that like button. So let's talk about it, bro. BG just made a hard track. You feel me? Called Hands Up. And basically, he putting it all on the table. <clears throat> y'all know these other videos we just been doing. <clears throat> he really ain't been addressing stuff like how he addressed it in this video. I'm talking about he ain't wasting no time. He got straight to the point. He got straight to the meat and potatoes, like Stan G said. But listen, this what this what Jizzle said. The streets been asking about that hot boys. We gonna run it back, but I ain't making up with Turk. No, I can't f with that. Water done too much hole, and he can't take it back. You got what Wack called me a rat. You can get spanked for that. All that as you said on drink champs, you fake for that. He said, when you did your bid, I was your only friend. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, y'all remember when Turk, when Turk got locked up, Jizzle was the only hot boy saying free Turk during the time. I think this when Jizzle had done dropped Living Legend back in the days. But anyway, y'all know Tika was gone. <clears throat> but this right here, I'm not taking no sides in this because this, this really done got lame, bro. It really done got lame because Jizzle, you done let Birdman get in your ear and you ain't being your own man about the situation. And you forgave Stunner and you forgave Hot Beezer, but you can't forgive Turk. And the crazy thing about it, you still messing with Stunner, but Stunner and Wack got a friendship. They got some type of business going on or whatever like they still cool why you didn't why you ain't mad at stunner man you feel me i'm speaking from a fan's point of view because us fans we sick of this we really tired of it bro stunner and and everybody all in your ear you not being your own man about the situation and saying like hey i ain't got to mess with this nigga no more but i'm gonna give the fans what they want you feel me? The fans deserve to see a real hot boy tour. You feel me? The fans deserve to hear Get It How You Live. The fans deserve to hear some old guerrilla warfare. So many classics <clears throat> that y'all boys got together. And it's a blessing that all of y'all is free and back on the streets together, Jizzle. But you not seeing that, bro. You not seeing it. I understand. I know how that feels. For a nigga to play with your name and try to call you a rat. You feel me? Like, especially when there's false information. You ain't put nobody in prison. Nobody came out and publicly said, BG sent me to the chain gang. Nobody said that. So I understand morals and principles that you're going by. But at the same time, you forgave Stunner. And you, you done did Stunner on several records, fool. And y'all back cool together. I mean, it's looking, I don't know. I don't know what to say about the situation. I just wish niggas meet up like men and say what they got to say. If niggas got to take a friendly fade, do that. But at the same time, give the fans what they want, man. Because we not jocking this three hot boy jump. It's four of them. It's four or nothing. And I'm willing to bet you. <clears throat> I'm willing to bet you if they was to try to pull it off with three hot boys, which I know Wayne ain't going for it, I bet you the crowd might mess around and boo the tour. For real. I'm willing to bet you, man. If they try to do a hot boy tour without Turk, the people in the audience is going to request Turk, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be something. It ain't going to gonna go like how Jizzle is playing. You feel me? Like, the fans going to be upset. They ain't going to want to hear it. They probably might not come. 
But I'm pretty sure Weezy, he all about business. You feel me? Because when the Essence Festival came about, he said the Essence people, he went for for the Essence Festival. He didn't go up there for Stunner. So we already know if it's going to be some hot boy stuff involved, Weezy is a businessman. He don't need Stunner. He don't need Stunner to crank up no tour or none of that. But allegedly, they supposed to be doing the hot boy tour on the Louisiana Festival. You feel me? Hopefully it go through. If it don't, it don't. Not, not. But the way Jills are acting right now, <clears throat> he act like he can't, he can't come to a mutual agreement and meet up with Turk and say what they got to say and get it off their chest. You know what I mean? That's what the fans would rather see. We don't want to see you niggas go to jail. We don't want to see nobody get hurt. You feel me? Because that's going backwards. Both of you niggas done did long beers. Turk done matured. He got him a wife. He moving on with life. Jizzle, you know what I mean? I understand. It's going to take you a minute to adapt back to society. Because you've been gone a long time. You feel me? So you still young. You still fresh. You, you, you grown, but in your head, you back in your second childhood, my nigga. So it's going to take a little growth. But on to the next, bro. We got to talk about Boosie Warren and Terrence Gangster Williams that he really liked that. <clears throat> now, y'all know Vlad and Boosie got a close relationship. And basically, Vlad brought up about Gangster doing an a, a interview with Marlo Mike. Now, keep in mind now, when Gangster did this interview with Marlo Mike, he didn't mention Boosie's name not one time. You feel me? He was just seeing where his head was or where his thoughts was. But, you know, Boosie, Boosie saying that he feel like gangster be trolling. And basically he was saying like, he don't know why gangster be trolling him because he really liked that. And he was, he was, Vlad also brought up, you know, that Giggity confessed to 20 murders and he said it was, he, he 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 gave up forty, and all with the hot boys. But he's saying that Giggity confessed to twenty murders on his show, and Boosie tried to say, try to like downplay it and say, "Oh man, once a nigga cooperate, I don't believe nothing the nigga say." Man, listen, the whole Louisiana <clears throat> and the whole New Orleans know you can't erase history. You feel me? Regardless what gangster did. You feel me? He he told on the dead or whatever the case may be. Nobody else ever came out since he been home and said, gangster put me in prison. It ain't now nigga living can come forward and say that Giggity put them in prison. Now I get it. Everybody don't understand that telling on the dead been an old school tactic. Old school cats been doing that. They been doing that before I was born. They been catching bodies and putting them on the dead. But a lot of young niggas that ain't up on game, they didn't know that. They just thinking niggas going in the courtroom and just whipping these charges. No, niggas be finessing their way out of these situations, man. That's the goal of it. It's to slide through the cracks without putting nobody in prison. And that's what the old school niggas was doing. So Giggity got the game from some old school cats I'm pretty sure he's not the only one in New Orleans that done put some bodies on the dead. You feel me? Keep it. Let's keep it real, man. But not to get off subject, Boosie, you know for a fact that gangster, he really was that man back in the days when it came to slinging that iron in New Orleans. And for you to say he need to stop talking about Soldier Slim, like gangster said. He was the first rapper for New Orleans to put Giggity in a song. Like, he been rapping by Gangsta. Then Juvie started rapping by Gangsta. Wayne, uh, 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 the whole Hot Boys. All of them was rapping by Gangsta and including um, Stunner. Like, it ain't no secret. What he did in the streets can't be erased. Even though he got some smut on his name, from, from people saying that he told on the dead or whatever, at the end of the day, 
you can't discredit that man uh, Booster like that nigga one slanging it. See, from what people saying, from where you from in your section, a lot of people calling you an assistant gangster. They saying that you always paid your way. They said it ain't no receipts of who you done. You, you feel me? Not to go any further, but if anybody from Louisiana or Baton Rouge, which I know I got Baton Rouge subscribers, if Boosie actually was slanking iron himself, they would be putting it in the comments all day. Y'all know that because that's what goes on the internet. If you really that, if you really that nigga that did it, they gonna put it out though. You feel me? Not to get off subject, just like they said about Kevin Gates. Kevin Kevin Gates really smushed somebody. You feel me? He really did that to somebody. He it really got physical, and he had to stand on business. Now, why be? I don't know. A lot of people saying he a assistant gangster. A lot of these, you know, which is I understand that's how it goes down in Louisiana. Some niggas, some niggas, that's how they do it. They they drop the bag on niggas. But at the same time, not to get off subject, you can never erase history, man. It don't matter what a man did at the end of the day, he's still a man. And I'm pretty sure if it all came down to it and somebody tried that, tried that man, I'm willing to bet you he'll crush him again because he already said he come in peace. He don't want no problems. But if it ever go up, it's going to go all the way up. Man, y'all know who it is, man. The latch out the devil. It's on the flow. The other half of it's time for that Coach for the Street podcast, man. I'm gone.